In this video, I'll break down how to use my lens flare transition and my paper rip transition pack. Both are available on my digital store. The link will be down in the description below. I'm just gonna give you a basic overview of how to use these really cool packs. First of all, I'll go over the paper rip transitions and then I'll go over how to use my really cool lens flare transitions and a couple really cool like secret things that you should know to make them look even cooler. So as you can see, here are the really cool paper rip transitions. Here's one of them, second one, third one, and fourth one. There are a whole bunch of really cool ones. If I go over here to show you the pack go over here to the paper rip transitions as you can see here are all the transitions so it comes with a total of 17 transitions now if you want to know how to install these these aren't like presets or plugins they're just basically overlays so you just import them like you would any normal video clip so all you would do is click on command um, I so just click on command I and that will bring up your import window and then just locate where you have it saved for example I have it saved on my Samsung T7 so as you can see here are the paper rip transitions right here so paper rip transitions and the lens flare transitions all you would do is you can either open up the folder and import individual one by selecting them or you can select on the folder and then just click on import selected so once you buy it and download it it should come with a zip file just simply unzip the file and then just import it into final cut like you would any normal clip or overlay really important these are not plugins and presets so do not install them in your motions template folder or your effects presets folder so once you have the paper Paper rip transitions imported into Final Cut. I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to actually use them. As you can see, I have a clip number one right here. So I have clip number one right here, and then I have clip number two. So in order to use these transitions, what you're going to do is you're going to take the second clip and you're going to place it above a clip number one. And I already have markers placed, so you'll see why I have that in a second. But you're just putting clip number two on top of clip number one. Now you're going to go ahead and select whichever paper rip transition you want. So you can, as you can see there's a whole bunch of really cool, in total, 17 transitions. So so let's say we want to use paper rip one. So you want to take the transition and you want to place it on the clip. Now as you can see, you want to make sure everything is lined up. You want to make sure the beginning of the transition begins where clip number two starts and you want to make sure the end of the transition ends where clip number one starts, just basically as you can see right here. You just want to make sure everything is lined up. Now let's say you want to make the transition faster or slower. All you would do is you'd select on the clip right here and then click on Command R and that would bring up the retiming tool. Now as you can see, you can go and hover your mouse right here. You can make it go faster or you can make the transition go slower. So you can make it again go slower or faster and then click on Command R to just like deselect the retiming tool. Now this is really important. You're going to want to create a copy of this paper rip transition, but you want to make sure if you want to speed up or slow it down, you do that first, then line up all the clips and then create copy. So it's really important. The speed of the transition is very, very important. So if you slow it down or speed it up make sure again you fix everything and make sure everything lines up so we select this paper rip transition right here so paper rip one what you want to do is head over to the blend mode and then all you want to do is click on stencil luma so select on stencil luma and then what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the option key and you're just going to duplicate this paper rip transition you're going to take the paper rip transition and you're going to place it below clip number two like so and there we go that is really important you want to make sure all that stuff is correct now you want to select on the top one and you want to select on the clip right here and then all you want to do is click on option G and that's going to create a compound clip and clip on and make sure it says compound clip one or you can name whatever you want and then click on OK. Now as you can see it still doesn't really do anything so what you want to do is you select this bottom one go to blend mode and you want to change the blend mode to screen and there you go now you can see clip number one below it now what you want to do is you can select this paper rip this bottom one right here and now as you can see if I go ahead and just deselect it there's no paper like kind of like paper border so if I disable and then enable as you can see that basically creates the paper border now all you can do is head over here to the scale you can increase the scale and then you can also go over here to position and you can move the position over and there you go so you can basically make the paper border thicker or however you want and you can also increase the scale too so you're basically just messing with the scale and position until you get the look that you like and there you go if I go ahead and play the clip right here here is what it looks like here as you can see now you have a really cool 
paper rip transition literally as simple as that and there you go that's basically all you have to do remember you want to make sure the top one the this one right here blend mode is changed to screen and the other one you want to make sure the blend mode is changed to stencil alpha and there you go there's the basic idea and there's a whole bunch of other things you can do you can be like reverse the speed of the paper rip transition again you can increase the speed but that is just the very basic idea of how to use this transition now if I go over here to I created like a promo for the entire thing let me show you a couple other ideas so basically that's how you create like the first one right here and the same steps apply to this like circle one but as you can see right here if I go ahead and see now there are like three separate ones so remember when I created the copy to basically like kind of like add those really cool paper borders well if you have like two or three as you can see right here if you have it split by two or split by three you might want to create multiple copies so you can shift it over to kind of create that really cool paper rip border so see if I go ahead and deselect this one as you can see if I only create one copy it's only going to create paper borders on this side so I'm going to create another copy and then just move that over that way there's the really cool paper borders on both sides so it just looks a lot better and there you go that's how you use the really cool paper rip transition pack now I want to show you how to use my really cool lens flare transition pack so we go over here to lens flare transitions and again if you import it like you would like a normal clipper video it should just show up in your browser or you go over here to you could also go to the search bar and type it up but if you just import and you scroll down you should be able to find the lens flare transitions the same is true with the paper rip transitions now we're going to go ahead and select a one that we want let's say lens flare transition 14 you're going to drag the transition on top of the clip now what you want to do is you want to kind of scroll through the clip and you want to kind of find like the brightest part of the transition so kind of find the brightest part of the transition and basically what to do let's go ahead and select on the m key so this, the m key will basically create a marker so basically we're going to place that in between the clip so you're trying to find like the brightest part of the lens flare transition and you're placing that in between the two clips as you can see right here i just like creating markers so it's just easy to, to kind of like know where everything is and keep track of everything so as you can see if i play the clip right here you see like nothing really happens all of a sudden the clip disappears just goes black and the lens flare transition and obviously that does not look good so let me show you how to use it so you're going to select this clip you're going to head over here to the blend mode you're going to go to the blend mode right here and you're going to change the blend mode to screen you could also mess with like add or lighten but in my opinion i would just change the blend mode to screen so there you go now you can see the clip below the actual like lens flare transition so if i go ahead and play the clip right here there we go that looks a lot better and the same steps apply for all the other lens flare transitions and that's how you create it now let's say you want to create a different color so it's easy all the lens flare transitions are blue but you you're saying to yourself I don't want le blue lens flares I want a different color well let me show you how to create that so all you would do is head over here to the effects panel now this is not like a plugin or a preset this is built into Final Cut we're gonna go ahead and select on all and we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna type in hue and saturation so you want to find the hue slash uh, saturation effect you're gonna place that effect on top of your uh, lens flare clip and then as you can see now you can adjust the hue so in this case you see you can change the colors to whatever you want so you see I can change it to purple green orange whatever color you want in my opinion I would change it to like 150 so we're gonna increase it to like 150 that will kind of give you that really like orange like lens burn or lens flare transition or film burn whatever you want to call it and there you go now it uh, changed the color to orange so you just simply mess with the hue to the different colors you want and we go ahead and play the clip there we go now it has an orange um, lens flare transition and there you go as simple as that and that is how you use my really cool lens flare transitions all those steps apply to all the other lens flare transitions and that's how you use my really cool lens flare and paper rip transition pack the link to my website will be down in the description below you can go ahead and purchase these two packs along with all of my other plugins and presets of a whole bunch of plugins presets overlays a whole bunch of stuff for Final Cut Pro so hopefully you really enjoyed this video hopefully you found it informative if, if you have any any more questions on how to use these packs or something went wrong, please let me know and I will I'll go ahead and help you fix it. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. Peace.